Thank well, you. let's take stock of the public mood on the issue of an independence referendum with Professor John Curtis. I spoke to him a little earlier and asked him if there was actually any evidence people in Scotland want a referendum this year. Polling evidence suggests that, on balance, uh, it looks as though Scotland is still against. We had a couple of polls during the course of the election campaign. One indeed directly said, should there be a referendum in the next year uh, from Ipsos Mori, there was something like a seven-point lead for those who were against. Another poll asked people whether there should be a referendum this side of the next Scottish Parliament election, which, of course, is in May 2021. That had a double-digit lead uh, against uh, the proposition. And independence itself... What's happening on that? Well, the polls told us during the whole course of the last calendar year that there was an increase in support for independence for, throughout, for most of the period since the EU referendum, despite the divergent outcome between the rest of the United Kingdom and Scotland, we were still finding around 45% of people saying they'd vote yes, 55% saying they'd vote no. But throughout the course of last year, every poll was detecting not a dramatic, but something of an increase in support, so that on average we were getting 48, 49% support. Most polls during the election campaign confirm that kind of figure. But, of course, what the SNP say is, well, look what happened last time. We went from something like 30% to 45 Therefore, if we have another one and we're on 50 we could we could get a big majority. Does it work like that? Not necessarily, inevitably, is the answer to that question. I mean, I remind you that people inside the Labour Party were saying, look what happened in the 2017 general election. We might have started behind, uh, but in the end, we gained an awful lot of ground. And then what happened in 2019? No repeat. There is no guarantee that history will repeat itself. And I think particularly what one needs to bear in mind, of course, what happened before 2014 is that a lot of people were thinking about and deciding about their attitude towards Scotland's constitutional status in a serious way for the first time. So we had a substantial debate. Second time around, I think it's going to be more difficult to change people's opinion. Look, after all, what's happened to attitudes towards Brexit. Very few people who voted in 2016 have since changed their minds. Now... now Many people will think that all the rhetoric about another independence referendum at the moment is really about positioning for next year's Scottish elections.